Hello everyone. Um, hope you are doing well. Uh, I want to thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day to hang with me for a minute. Um, I have seen a lot of planner videos on YouTube. Um, I follow planner related accounts and um, you know, I see a lot of other moms out there. I see some student accounts. Um, and I just thought, you know, if I find these helpful, maybe someone will want to see what I've got going on. So um, I am going to show my 2024 planner sort of line up what's going on with me so far it looks kind of chaotic but that's because it is chaotic right now um and some of these things i did purchase from actual hobonichi got a shipment from japan um a couple of these items i purchased from amazon and then one was a gift and so i'm going to kind of go through everything so you can know what's going on and i'm going to give you like a brief overview of what my plan is to have everything going for 2024. um please if you have any suggestions as you hear what i'm discussing and you hear me kind of giving my ideas um i haven't settled firmly on what my plan is I didn't know I had a scratch there. What my plan is for 2024. So any thoughts and ideas, um, please feel free to share, comment down below. Um, I do also want to say that, you know, what I have going on is for me, my planner journey has taken many twists and turns over the past years. And matter of fact, for 2020 and now the bulk of 2023 due to going through some mental health things and chronic illnesses with two of my children and you know a lot of stuff I did not plan and because I I'm not easily distracted in the sense that when I'm task oriented I'll stay on a task but I will find it very challenging to not move from one task to another because my brain says, oh, you're doing this. So now you should do this. And then you started this, but in order to really finish it well, you need to go do this. And before I know it, I'm on several different things and things get finished along the way, but I don't stick to what I need to get done very often. And so that doesn't work for me. So when you look at my ideas of what I've got going on, like I said, just please know that, you know, I have a lot on my plate, just like most of us do, and I need to get it done. So first up, um, I'll go ahead and set these to the side. Well, let me do this first. I'll kind of show you what I'm doing for right now. So for... Um, and this is probably going to change and um, this is just what I have at the moment, okay? So I really wanted to figure out what my planner life personality setup was going to be and I did bullet journaling at one time and I fell in love with the Midori A5 MD, the Midori MD A5, that's how I should say that. And I just get them on Amazon and they come, I don't know what's underneath of this one, but they come, you know, um, typically one in a pack, even though they're rather small. And then I get these plastic sleeves from Midori to cover them. Um, as you can see, I am like a quantity of stickers and I've done it so that this, um, like for this one, as you can see, the stickers are on the actual cover. And then for this one, there's a, there's like a vellum, like a tissue paper that comes. And so I put the stickers on the tissue paper because I thought, well, just in case I can use it again, because I kind of like the crazy nature of all the stickers. Um, 
I, as aforementioned, in 2022, we had a lot going on and it cascaded into 2023. And I had a really rough time with some of those changes and it took me a while to get my mental health back on track. And so planning wasn't for me during that time. However, I do not like bullet journaling. Okay, so you'll notice, for example, in this notebook, I've done my best to sort of mimic um, the Hobonichi cousin, the A5 cousin, where I've done sort of the weekly spread and then I have daily pages. Okay, and I really do sort of like having this but the problem is I do not like making it I don't want to draw anything in I want it to be pre-filled and then I just get to do all of my stuff on top of it um but because I struggled so much with being in a planner 2022 into 2023 I thought let me just try to do it like let me try and to be honest I am struggling with the paper of the MD and um I'm struggling with writing in it um so Having said that, I recognize that some of it is about getting back into a schedule, but I know for me, a lot of it is having to come in. I know that I'm going to have to create this and I don't like it. And the paper is not my favorite either. So while I'm going to try to continue to use this, because you can see it's, it's, it was new um, for the rest of 2023. I know that it does not work for me to have to fill in the, you know, the framework. Um, so that's what I'm using sort of as like my, my daily and, and for time blocking. Um, this one, I was trying to keep a knitting journal. So I'm a knitter, I'm a crafter, but in our current, what well, we moved and in our new house, I don't have space for, I love to quilt and I like to sew and I don't have space for that here, um, which was part of the problem with the move here. However, I love to knit and I can take that anywhere and I really wanted to do a knitting journal, but again, I sort of came into that same issue with trying to keep a knitting journal in something where I have to fill out all the things so that wasn't working for me so I decided to try to use it for my fountain pens to swatch and like if I have pens but again the issue that I'm having is I love the Midori MD paper with pencil with regular like um here i'll show you so like a gel pen or i have these like inner gel clinas um that i was totally influenced by the coffee monster co by helen of the coffee monster co and it feels weird to say her first name because i don't know her personally but um so either of these pens, I, I, you know, this inner gel liquid gel ink, which, you know, it's an inner gel and then the inner gel clina. I, I love them on this paper, but my fountain pens, I don't. Um, so swatching it on this paper is kind of not working for me because it's just not. So I don't know what I'm going to do with this for right now. Um, you know, having a notebook, I will always find, a, you know, a use for a notebook. I won't let it go to waste. And I do have four kids, so, you know, they can use it and I can just take off the cover. Um, I am in school, so I could use it for notes and that would be fine. Um, so I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. 
but I will talk to you about what I'm thinking about swatching using for swatching and then this final one um, is for my um, Bible journaling so this is what I'm using um, it's really working well for me even though I am using um, my sailor um, and it leaks the ink so poorly but I got this at a discount on Goulet pens like you can see it's like so icky in there I got to clean that um, this is a mix of two inks so I'm really liking it the sailor is a scratchier pen and for some odd reason I think it goes better with this but this is what I'm currently using for that purpose and it's going really well so those are what I'm using right now on to my purchases and what I plan to use in 2024 and what I'm thinking and what I still need to kind of work out so I got the Hobonichi Techo Cousin um, I have used this in the past and I've actually only had it once um, and I got it because I Unfortunately, as a crafter, I think one of the things that we kind of struggle with is we are easily influenced with pretty shiny things. And um, I was using a planner, but I wasn't really loving it. And I love grid. I've always loved grid paper since I was a child. And um, I think her name is Candace of the Farmer's Daughter Fibers had listed somewhere on her Instagram or somewhere that she was using um, the Hobonichi Techo and it just looked so perfect so for me when I first purchased it it was kind of overwhelming so my first Hobonichi was it seemed like a huge commitment and to be honest if it feels that way for other people I would say join the club because it still kind of feels a little overwhelming but 2024 is my year of reorganizing I'm trying to figure out what suits me the best and so I made the purchases that I made hoping to streamline my planner process by really figuring out what works for me over the course of a full year so I don't plan on using like You've seen the cousin before, I'm sure you know the layout with the year at a glance and the year prior and year to come. And then it has the habit tracker pages. Um, I don't know that I'll be using these um, if I think about it. Uh, there are some things like medications and whatnot, especially because I have... Uh, two children, like I said, with chronic conditions. There are some medication things, um, maybe some other health-related things that I could put in these, but I'm not 100% sure. Um, the monthly pages, I keep a Google Calendar for, like I rely on my Google Calendar to remind me about appointments. Um, but... I think what would be helpful, and this was not my original plan, and I'll tell you why, but I think what will be helpful is to write down personal dates in the monthly spread and decorate it. Um, I like pretty stickers, I like washi tape, and I think decorating a month and sitting down and having that moment and putting down the important dates uh, would be nice. So that is my plan for the monthlies. Um, then and there's a small bug, so excuse me if you see me. For the weeklies, I do like to time block. So for example, I like to know that between these hours, I need to do these things. And I sort of like to time block with like, um, I have these highlighters they are the Mr. Pen highlighters and they're very muted and they come 
and this one might be a little too dark I really like them super pale so I have these and I gave some to my daughter the darker ones but these are the lighter ones and I really love them for um, color blocking and things that are going on and I will assign like for a week like this will be personal and this will be spiritual and uh, this will be school and this will be work right so I can color block my time out and that way I can get a better picture of my day so that when I go to my daily pages and I want to write down what I need to get done I can take into consideration like I can flip back and say okay on this day what is it that I need to do and then take that into consideration so that's my plan I do plan on using the weeklies I don't know that I will be heavily decorating the weeklies because I feel like this is more about the nuts and bolts of what I need to get done each week and then of course we have our daily pages the the one page per day spreads and I do like these and I think that they offer quite a bit of space for decorations and for writing out your thoughts and you know getting some of those emotions out and I love that they come in different colors for each month so for example for July you have this like muted teal for June there's an olive for May there's kind of like a it's like a green mustard April there's that pink purple you know it's it's just nice to have a color transition and what I plan to do is I want to do a currently inked for each month and so my plan is to put that here so I am gonna use the monthlies to get my months in order I'm going to use the weeklies to get my weeks in order. So I don't need this introductory, you know, intro to the month page. I don't need that to organize my thoughts. So that's what it'll be for as of right now. Obviously things can change, but as of right now, this will be my currently inked. So I'm looking forward to that because I have some inks. I definitely would like some more I did order some more but it's coming from a place that after I ordered I read a lot of reviews and I was kind of concerned about so more on that later but um, I'm really excited about that and then of course with my dailies I do plan to decorate and I got the English because I wanted to be able to read the quotes without having to use Google Translate and I'm really excited about that so that is my main life planner and that's what I'm going for with that now I did also order um, an a5 notebook and the reason I ordered this was primarily because it was just so beautiful um, I have no official plan for this it's just an a5 notebook um, in the back of the Hobonichi cousin there are not there are no like real brainstorming pages you have like just a few of these blank pages so I could see someone taking these two and putting them in a planner like this will be for notes that I just randomly am taking and then this is my life planner but for me I'm not a hundred percent sure what this is going to become and that's okay because it was so pretty I just couldn't pass it up so the next thing um, I'll show you is a new to me product that I did purchase on Amazon and that's a Stalogy A5 and just like with this planner which is my um, like Bible journaling this is the purpose that's what I got this for and what I did is I actually ordered um, another one of these, a pack, a two pack of these Midori MD 
or A5, excuse me, plastic covers so that I can put it on this. Um, I don't know that I'm going to decorate this. I do have like, let's see if I can find it in the chaos. I, I had one of those days at work where like when you're not working in your chosen field and you get reminded that you're not working in your chosen field and you kind of write the email to quit in your mind. I had one of those days, so I just like pushed all of my stuff to the side. Um, I got these on Etsy, um, and I can't remember. I would have to look up the name. Um, and then the, the this, sh I ordered this, and the seller sent me this, and um, a couple more stickers as freebies. I gave two to my daughter. And there's one other one that I can't seem to find right now. But I just thought that was so sweet. And I cannot wait to order from that seller again. Um, but I don't really think I'll decorate the outside. I'll decorate the inside more like I've done. So again, the Stylogy is new to me. This is the A5 365. So it is intended that you could use it as a you know, one day, one page per day journal, planner, bullet journal. But again, like I mentioned previously, I am not, I need, I need the guidelines. I need to know what's going on and what I'm supposed to be doing and where I'm supposed to be writing. So that's my Stylogy. And then I ordered, and this was from Japan, um, a week's. Now the reason I ordered the weeks is because I am in school and I'm an adult student and I just have to be honest, like my brain feels a little bit like mush some days and I need to stay on track of when assignments are due and when to have my rough drafts done and you know, I'm heading into um, some heavier like computer science, mathematics courses and things. And so I need to stay on track. And so my goal um, was to have number one, a very vibrant, like I can pick this up and uh, you know, I will see it wherever it is. And that's why I got the plastic cover in part two because even though there's like a hair in it and that's driving me nuts. Um, although I did order the cover from Amazon after getting it because I was so afraid of getting the yellow dirty and that just sounded disgusting to me. Um, but I want to have this with me sort of whatever I've got going on, I can have my school work done now, like organized and planned for. Now, having said that, I don't know how much I'm going to use the monthly section, meaning I think it'll be term or course dependent. So for example, the term that I'm getting ready to finish right now, I don't need to do anything with. Um, I, would, I wouldn't put that on a monthly spread because it was kind of basic. But the term I'm getting ready to go into and the ones to follow, like I said, I have some much heavier math, um, science, uh, computer science courses, and I may need to use the monthly spread to kind of keep track. Um, but again, that will be going into the new year. So even for the courses that I have now, like I'll be able to gauge how I feel um, and so this may come in handy just to mark off, you know, really important dates. I do plan on using the each week to track where I need to be in terms of schoolwork. And the reason I don't want that in my life planner, you know, my, my cousin is because I, I feel like if I take this weekly layout and I put on here that there's a project due, that there's something that I need to do for school, it's gonna overwhelm me with all of the other things that I need to get done and I, it may get lost in the sauce, right? So I feel like if I have a specific place to put all of my stuff, 
then that's there. And then I will also have the small note section where I can take whether I want to organize it by the day or I want to just have it be brain dump, um, then I can do that. And for that specific reason, I also, and by the way, I got the mega because I wanted to have this in the back. Um, and my intention for this was I originally had a plan for this but again something else happened and so I can morph this a little bit um and I did get a pencil board but I got that on Amazon so I cheated um I was originally going to use this for our bills um because so I'm not 100% sure if I'm going to do that or not but I got the mega with that in mind so all of this portion will just be school and then this would be our bills so that I could keep track each month and you know each pay cycle however I want to do it but there will be a record of what's going on here and then I did get some of the little again these were purchased from Amazon some of these little inserts and the reason I got these was because I was thinking hey this is something quick I can toss into my purse um, for grocery lists and things like that and I wasn't a hundred percent sure what I was gonna do with the weeks yet as you can see you can tell I wasn't really certain because I put the little um, folder plastic folder and then I, I got this so it has a folder on it but that is my weeks and I'm looking forward to using it um, because like I said as I get deeper into my schoolwork um, my coursework I'm really gonna need to stay on top of stuff so that I'm I don't like to work to a deadline I work I like to work to a deadline I set so if I know something's due on the 15th I set a deadline for myself of the 10th to have met some type of you know indicator of how far along am I what's going on and then set another deadline of like the 12th so that by the time the 15th comes that work is done I have these like I mentioned these probably will just get thrown in my purse and be for a grocery list or notes on the go I can't anticipate I would get these again however like I said 2024 is the year of figuring out what I'm going to be doing with my planning and how I like it organized best so I won't say that I will never purchase these again just from a practical standpoint I don't I think it might have been a little bit of overkill like I think I could have found a way no, because nothing is, well, let me say this. Then this was gifted to me. <laughs> so, my husband and I have been married for 20 years this year, and our anniversary is coming up. It's in October, and I was calling this our year of anniversary, so I've been giving my husband gifts all year. And I think the poor man was probably like, what am I going to do? Um, and he was crowdsourcing ideas for my children, I think. So um, this is one of the gifts that I received. And it was so sweet and it was so loving. And once I received this with my some other little goodies, I decided that I'm going to use this for... I don't want to say hobby journaling because currently the only thing I'm really doing is knitting but that's my plan and it is completely completely like unnecessary it is completely just something to do but I knit quite a bit and I never keep a record and like I said before, I need a framework. And the great thing about this, I feel like, is I can make a note. I bought this yarn. I 
purchased this pattern, I'm working on this project, I can assign to each month what projects I have on my needles that need to get finished or what I'm still working on and the projects that I want to cast on for next. I can make notes up here of like um, crazy sock lady does 30 minutes of knitting a day. I could say, okay, I want to do 30 minutes of knitting on this project. And I just think it'll be really fun. And my gift, my son, who I got addicted to um, fountain pens as well, picked out this beautiful pen for me. It's the Hongdian Peacock. And I had, um, oh, I can tell you the ink that's in it. Hold on one second. What is the ink? It is Organic Studios, I believe. Yeah, Organics Studio Aldous Huxley. That is perfect in this. Like, it's absolutely perfect. So, I had just a sample. So, I went and bought a full bottle. So, that'll be coming at some point soon. Um, but, I bought a Galen Leather A5 cover. And this will live with this little Hobonichi Techo A6. They will be a matching set because this is a gift from my husband and this is a gift from my kids, but my son picked out. And, I, you know, I hear the other children have gifts. So I'm going to consider this a gift from my son. And I ordered to match it a Galen Lever. Lever a Galen leather cover for this. So, um, and that's just to keep it safe and to keep it looking nice and that's all it is. And that's something that I can reuse every year and I won't need to purchase a new planner cover. So, this is what I have going on. Um, like I said, please feel free to make any comments. Um, like I said, this was a very new addition and I am excited to use it because this will probably stay with me like in whatever project bags. Um, like for example, I have a small project bag here from um, Mountain State Stitches and I have some socks in there. Um, but I have larger bags that I might toss this into and then I can make notes and I am knitting almost every day. So it'll be nice to look back over the course of 2024 and see what I've worked on, um, what I liked, what I didn't like. And that was the point of having my other, my Midori MD, but it just didn't gel. I don't know. So this is everything. This is what's going on with me. For me, it is a little excessive. Like I, I'm gonna be honest, it feels a little overwhelming to think of everything that's gonna be happening in 2024. The analog process of keeping a journal is what I'm most excited for. I don't find my Google Calendar to be satisfying. Like I don't look at it and think, Okay, this is what I have to get done for today. I use my Google Calendar as like my cheat, you know, with notifications and hey, you've got a week before this anniversary and you've got two days before this appointment and it really keeps me on track when it comes to actually like blaring a signal at me like, hey, you got something to do. But when it comes to keeping track of my life and making sure that I'm getting things accomplished on a daily basis, analog just works way better for me and I need the discipline right now like I really need the discipline because life kind of has been I don't function as well without it and I think especially going into you know the cold season and dealing with feelings relative to you know, sometimes we don't feel as accomplished because there's not as many days of sunlight. Well, at least where I live. Um, I think this will help keep me motivated each day on task. And then I can look back and say, oh, you know, I checked off all these things. I got a lot done. Even if I didn't get these other three things done, I got these four things done. And yeah, 
So I hope this wasn't too long. Um, I know sometimes when I'm knitting or I'm working on something, listening to a video and looking up and seeing what somebody's doing really works for me. So I hope you felt the same way. I do plan on doing a lot more content, meaning just regular things. Um, I do plan on doing a currently inked or what pens I have, um, which currently they're all cheap. So, okay. Um, well, except for this, this is just such a sweet pen. So I won't even talk badly about that. Um, you know, what inks I'm purchasing, um, stickers or washi tapes, things that I have coming in the mail or you know, even just a flip through of what I've got because maybe it'll inspire you. I never want to be a hindrance to someone. Like, please don't think that anything about my system is perfect and I don't even have it fully worked out yet. But more of an encouragement and hope that it helps someone else and that, you know, we all love stationery. Those of us who love it, we love it. It is a deep relationship. So, that is all for right now. I hope you are doing well. And if you're not doing well, I hope you have the means or the accessibility to, you know, progress forward. I hope that those you love are doing well. And I hope that you're taking care of yourself. And I hope to see you again soon. Bye.